Well, as most of you know who watch my channel, I do get into computers as well as cars, and computers are actually my chosen field of work. I do some freelance consulting for people, and last night I was at somebody's house, and they said that their computer was running very badly at times, and my experiences with it seemed to bear that out. So I was a little surprised when I took it uh, off their computer desk, and I found some, and I heard something rattling in the case. Turned out it was this. This is the heat sink off of a north bridge. And this is the motherboard out of said computer, and that is an SIS 760LV north bridge which was running with absolutely no heat sink on it. It took me a while to figure out why because of the density of the parts on the motherboard, but there are little clips that hold the heat sink down over the north bridge. And this one up here had pulled out. Now, I don't lay claim to being a solder artist. In fact, I usually make big messes when I solder, but this didn't look too bad. And my fix doesn't look too terribly atrocious. No damage was done to the board or anything like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this back together. I've just cleaned this up with rubbing alcohol to get all that off of it. I'm going to do the uh, get all the heat sink compound off of there, as well as any fingerprints. I'm going to do the same with this. And then I'll put some fresh new heat sink compound down, pop this board back into that computer, and we'll see if it actually works. The reason I'm making this video is because it's a very rare thing for anyone to do any kind of board level motherboard repair, even if it's just something simple like reattaching a missing clip. Alright, I've got a little bit of a blob of heat sink compound there, and when you're putting a heat sink compound on something, the idea is, as you can see from the microprocessor there, the idea is to have a thin, even coating all over everything. Now the way I usually get this done, and some people might say it's not the best way, but it always seems to work fine for me, is to put a little bit of a blob there in the middle and let the heat sink squish it out flat when I put it back on. And although it's hard to see, the heat sink compound is now squished out onto the IC. So I'm going to put this back on, pop the motherboard back into the computer, and see what happens. And there's the heat sink back in its rightful place, and it seems to be holding pretty well. Alright, we're all back together now. Got everything put back together. All the leads plugged in. Gave everything a good once over. Let's see what we get. Ta-da! One happy, healthy motherboard once again. Don't know if it's going to boot from anything. I must have left something in the drive. Ah, mem test CD. Ah, that's a good thing to do. It's as good as anything. Just let it run through the memory test there. Then I'll throw it all the way, the rest of the way back together. And it's another computer saved from an almost certain landfilling.